Good morning. In today's video, we're going to talk a little bit about gas prices. Not so much what we're paying at the pump, but what the truck drivers are. So on this channel, we do a variety of shopping and stores to find the best deals and sales that we can for you guys. We are out of Cincinnati, Ohio. Uh, we do do a little traveling around to try and find the best deals, the best sales, all day, every day. Especially with these prices going up, it's getting absolutely ridiculous. And we're doing everything we can to try and save a few bucks. So what we're going to talk a little bit about in this video is how these diesel prices are going to affect the stores that are already having products skyrocket in price right now. It's something very important. Let's get to it. So first thing I want you to do is leave down in the comments what city you're in with your gas price. We're kind of curious to see through the different states and cities of what the gas prices are right now where you live. Uh, ours has been steady for the last few days at 409 a gallon. Now that has shot up 80 cents in a little over a week. Uh, that's pretty crazy. I know with everything going on right now, times are tough. But one of the things that we focus on on this channel is saving money. So one of the things that I'm going to talk about here is saving money at like Kroger gas stations, anywhere where they have a loyalty card to where you can save a few pennies, even dollars. Kroger's offers a lot of deals on fuel points. Like you have to check out certain things online, give you more fuel points than other things. Now, we don't really know how that's going to work in the future. All I know is, is that you can look at certain things like gift cards, stuff like that. Sometimes Kroger's will have a deal four times the fuel points uh, if, if you buy certain gift cards or certain products. Uh, we see things, um, not too sure with Meyer if they have one or Target, obviously, I don't think they have one. But, um, you know, all the different ones like BP, Speedway, every little way that we can try and save money now, we're going to have to because the diesel prices are going through the roof. Uh, as we saw here, it was four ninety five, but I heard that's going up again. Uh, my friend out in Indiana, the gas price was four twenty six, which means that that's probably going to hit us here probably tomorrow. Now, me and Jessica are going on vacation to Gatlinburg. We are leaving in the morning. We're going to do a lot of videos down there, see what the prices are like in a resort type area. I assume the gas prices are going to be a little higher, but we are going to focus on the grocery prices as well. Mostly because, yes, gas prices, it's terrible, but we need to focus on what the food is going to be. Food has been rising and going up like crazy for months. We have been covering it every day on our channel, from Kroger's to Tar all the main grocery chains, um, all the value stores, which really aren't much of a value anymore as far as food goes. Now, like cleaners, uh, different things like that, sure, like Family Dollar, Dollar General, Dollar Tree. Uh, and, you know, Dollar Tree is going to be getting a lot more business here, and I'm sure they're expecting it. I hope that they keep to their prices of $1.25, because as we saw back in Fe February 8th, our prices at Dollar Tree went up to $1.25. We know that most of the ones around the country have gone up. Hopefully it stays there. But as far as like uh, different foods and stuff, canned goods, we may have to shop at some of these places to get the deals. So on top of a multitude of different issues, from employee shortages to food shortages to uh, trucks bringing in 20 to 40% loads, that they, they haven't been able to bring in full loads, at least here in Cincinnati, every truck that comes in, Walmart and Kroger get trucks every day, but they're getting anywhere, I heard it went up a little bit, anywhere from 25% to 60%. And a lot of the stuff is extra of things that either they have too much of, as, as we see like when we go into Kroger's, um, you know, there'll be plenty of like elbow noodles. They'll have a surplus of elbow noodles, right? Now they'll sell it. Well, as we saw even Kroger pasta went up to $1.25 a box, which they've been a dollar for years. I, I was really surprised, not surprised to see it go up, but it's like, that's when it starts to hit you. When you see the things that have, they've always kept 
the low price. Even through all this, and now they're going up, I expect it's going to be going up again. Now, I don't want to freak everybody out. I don't want to freak anybody out. But this is something that we have been talking about for a long time. Because gas prices have been going up for the last year. It's only from like the last week or so that it's just skyrocketing. But we've seen with grocery prices and everything else that it's it's getting so much. Prices are going up so much now in the stores that it's hard to keep up with everything. We've seeked out other stores that we've normally not shopped at. Uh, up until like the last four months, we never shopped at Aldi. We've grown to love Aldi, not just, you know, and, and not just because of the prices, but because they actually do have a lot of products. I think Aldi has had kind of a bad name for years, at least around here. But I got to say, we absolutely love it. And the prices, when you look at your receipt, when you leave, it's like, okay, we're getting a lot of this stuff for a lot cheaper. Uh, we are becoming less and less picky, uh, buying more Kroger brand, more Meyer brand, um, especially on the things that, it, you know, some of it's skyrocketing. We have to look into some other things like Sam's Club, Costco, places where that we can buy in bulk and ultimately get it to what at least we're getting the prices were a couple months ago. For most of the products we buy, when I buy in advance or bulk, however you want to say it, because um, you're going to use it eventually. But as you know, when we do, when we go to Sam's Club, they have a lot of the stuff that we buy for great prices. I mean, great prices. Like, And I try to make examples out of the simple things like Del Monte vegetables. Okay, they're a dollar fifty a can now at Kroger, which I can see everything is going to be going up because because of those diesel prices. Because it's going to cost more for the trucks, it's going to cost more in the store. So, you know, if we're taking something like Del, Mon Del Monte vegetables, something real simple at a dollar fifty a can at Sam's Club, they still have it for seven dollars for eight cans. Now you can't mix and match and that stuff, but. Buy, buy each brand. I mean, you're going to save in the long run. This is how we're going to have to think in the future here for a little while. Because with the way everything's going on, I won't go into detail. Everybody here knows what's going on. Um, we just have to pay attention. We have to be smart. We have to shop smart. Uh, we got to help each other. We got to be there for each other. Um, you know, be there for your mom, you know, or your kids, even if your kids are grown, explain to them how we're going to have to save money because this is something that's going to hurt a lot of people financially. Um, you know, a lot of people who don't have anything or can't get to the stores are the ones that are going to really be suffering here. I highly encourage people that if you can't get to the stores right now, check out a lot of the online services, walmart.com, Amazon, anything that you can do to make your price a little cheaper because there is, and, and I'm sure this is going to change too, but it, they do offer a lot of deals. Amazon prime, you know, you, you get products for, you know, a lot cheaper, free shipping, stuff like that. Not free shipping on everything, but a lot of these places like uh, chewy.com, $49, you pay $49, you have no shipping cost, and they have a lot more pet food than we're finding in the stores here. I know we've gotten a lot of comments on Chewy being very low, but go ahead and put your order in. Even if it's going to take a couple months, we don't know what it's going to be like next week. We've gotten a lot of good comments from walmart.com. Um, you buy a certain amount, I think it's over $35. I think it's $35. I don't know. I'm one that still likes to shop in the stores and look around. Plus, we do all our videos there and everything else, so I usually pick up stuff as I go along. But you really want to save. It, it, with the gas prices going up, you know, if they offer free shipping and you're saving and not having to go to the store, that is probably the way to go right now. I mean, I, I always encourage people to go to the stores and stuff, but if you're going to get a better deal sitting at home, not spending the gas, you're saving a bunch of money. You know, if it costs you $4 every time you start your car, well, you really, we really do have to kind of factor in the gas prices now, because I'll tell you what, I was filling up my gas tank because we're leaving for Tennessee in the morning. And that is what encouraged me to do this video today. I wanted to get this out here quickly to you guys because we're going to be gone for a week. And I kind of wanted to show what it's like here at home in Cincinnati 
compared to what it's going to be down in Tennessee. Now, we're staying near Pigeon Forge uh, and Gatlinburg. We're going to be doing a lot of stuff. We're going to have fun. We're, we got a lot of stuff planned. We're going to have some fun family videos, too, to kind of just get away from the stress of everything going on right now because I know everybody's stressed. Everybody is. All my family, all my friends, that's all we're ever talking about is all the events going on. So hopefully we can bring you guys some fun entertainment um, to make sure that you see our videos rather than just this these type of videos. Make sure that you click the notification bell and click all. That way we will pop up right in your feed. Uh, we will have a video out every day at 8.30 in the morning Eastern Time. Uh, we are daily vloggers. We vlog every day to bring you guys all the information that you need. And, and it's a great thing of what we do on this channel. We, we get together. We talk about different prices in different parts of the country, different parts of the world. Um, and, you know, it, I, I believe, in, especially in these times right now, it's really helping. It's really helping people know where to go where the uh, best place is to save money. And, and we're going to try and find discounts like we've never found before. This is going to be something where, um, you know, somebody left a comment about coupons. They're definitely going to keep coupons coming. Somebody was saying their stores will just get rid of coupons. They're not going to get rid of them, but it is going to look weird when you're getting a coupon to save for the price that you might have paid just last week or something up from the price that it was, you know, yesterday to today i don't know prices are just going through the roof right now and um it's crazy it really is but i wanted to talk a little bit about the diesel fuel going on because it's not so much that we can get to the store it's that once we get to the store we can afford the food that's at the store since 2008 the only way the gas prices started coming down is because people stopped driving as much and you know eventually that may be something we all have to do, but as for right now, the way the world works, I don't think anybody can really afford to. It's like you have to drive to work, you have to drive to the store, you know, not everybody's on a bus line or has somebody with them that can take them to the store or something. We have people on the channel here that get to the store once a month, once a month. And for those of you who shop that way, I would be planning. I would be planning on, on what you're going to buy ahead of time, which I, I know a lot of you do. But, you know, plan on the sales. This is another reason why I try to bring the sales out every week. Every week we try to get the Kroger sales. Focus a lot. We focus a lot on Kroger because Kroger owns different stores all over the country. And they seem to have very similar sales. So I feel like this is one of the most important things to talk about because what the sale is here, it's probably most likely going to be a better deal where you live too. It's not going to be long before everybody's prices are going to be going up again, as if they have, they've been going up constantly for like the last few months. We Even the simplest things. We talk about a few pennies, right? A few pennies at Aldi here and there. We saw canned goods went from 55 cents to 58 cents. Some of them went up to 64 cents. And you don't think, or you're, you think that's not a lot of money. But when you factor in what you're buying and how much you're buying, and if everything goes up, like not everything goes up just five cents. Uh, we've seen ramen noodles. They have it on sale for this week at Kroger, three for five dollars. Well, that's more expensive than it's ever been. That's a dollar sixty-six a bag of six of them for a dollar sixty-six a piece. It was a dollar fifty last week. So I mean, you think you think to yourself, well, that's not much money. You start adding in all these little prices, it's going to cost you. I, I don't. It, depending on how much you buy. To give you an example, for what I go into Kroger for, for about fifty bucks. I'm spending anywhere from $75 to $80 now. For an 11 and a half gallons of gas, I just spent $47. $47 on 11 and a half gallons of gas. And it's just, it's crazy. I've never spent that much in my life for gas. And I know compared to what a lot of you guys are paying, especially out in California, we're seeing on the news that it's six, seven dollars a gallon. I don't know how we would be able to do that here. Uh, people in Cincinnati don't make as much money as they do out in California and on the East Coast and New York and stuff. 
it's just crazy. I can't imagine having to pay that much. I, I may end up buying a bicycle and, and maybe, uh, you know, getting one of them head things for a uh, GoPro or something. You know? <laughs> I mean, it just, it, it's, it's getting ridiculous. And this is why I wanted to put this video out today is to make everybody aware that yes, gas prices are terrible, but we need to focus on food. Food needs to be, food is something that everybody needs and it's something that we have to come together to try and find ways to save because you could be really well off. You could have a lot of money and not worry about these things. But there's a lot of people or most people that can't afford that luxury, that don't have that luxury. They live on a budget. They live on Social Security. They live on so much money a month that they can spend. I am talking here to everybody because even if you are well off, you should be aware. And, and if you're not, then you have to be aware. So it's something that we do have to focus on as a group entirely, because if you are one of those people that don't care, at least care for the people who have trouble getting everything they need. And, and that's what I ask. I, I understand a lot of people seem to uh, not worry too much about the prices and everything. And, you know, I'm worried about it for my family. I'm worried about it for myself and my wife and my friends, you know, and that's kind of what has motivated me to keep doing these videos to make sure that we're always staying ahead of the game, even if it's just a little bit, even if it's just a little bit, because who knows what it's going to be like next week or a month from now or two months from now, you know, and uh, it's just something we're going to have to stay on top of. And, you know, with everything that's going to be going up, we need to stock up a little. We, you know, it's like always, I always say, leave some for your neighbor. Don't go buying, you know, a hundred bags of paper towels or toilet paper or stuff like that. Always remember that your neighbor needs that too. However, that being said, when you find stuff you need and you find a good deal on it, buy up a few. Doesn't seem like stores are struggling to the point of most things like toilet paper anymore. I think they learned their lesson a couple years ago that we need to keep that toilet paper coming. At the gas pump today is what inspired me to do this video. Um, a lot of you guys have been talking about it. You guys have been leaving comments about the gas prices, so I felt it was kind of a responsibility for me to do a video about this. And and it's crazy. And I know 409 a gallon is is little compared to what it's going to be for us probably here next week. So. I don't really know. We're just going to have to play it day to day, and I will do my best to bring all the information to you guys. Thank you all so much for your kind support of the channel, and me and Jess, uh, we're really looking forward to getting away here for a week. Uh, have a great vacation. Uh, we're going to do a few shopping videos to where we show what things are like down there, but we are also going to do some, like I said, family fun videos. Uh, maybe do some food reviews of some of the some of the restaurants they have down there. Some of the uh, stuff we're gonna be. I don't want to give anything away. <laughs> I'm real bad at that. So, and you know, just thank you all so much for being part of the adventure. Um, and yeah, just uh, save a little bit, stock up a little bit, uh, get it before it's gone because people are gonna people are catching on. People know what's going on, and they are going to the stores, and they are. But we're seeing new things kind of disappearing all the time. So it's good to be aware and uh, we're going to keep you updated on everything. Thank you all so much for watching today. With all that being said, I am out and always remember the adventure is out there.